wood, and then he chainsaw something else. <laughs> All right, welcome back, guys. We got Immortal Spawn from Rob Talent sitting down with us. How are you? Good, guys. Thanks for having me. No problem. Absolutely no problem at all. So, I mean, uh, Rob, Mortal Spawn, coming to this event, obviously a huge success in Columbus, uh, third place, but there was sort of something that n nobody really from the community saw coming in that you guys made a team change in the uh, the period between Columbus and Dallas. How about you tell us a little bit about that yeah, team change? Yeah, definitely. Um, to be honest, we, we didn't expect it coming either. Um, we all loved Dan, and it really just came down to uh, dedication mm -hmm. and uh, we had just given it and reevaluated it week after week because I, for one, recommend this for teams out there. Team changes. This, this game's really a lot about team chemistry and playing with yeah. the same people, expecting what your teammates are going to be doing. So it's not something that that I enjoy at all. But um, business is business. You exactly, know? and and you know, and more power to Dan. I'm glad he found a team that he's able to come here with, uh, Infinity, and and I hope they do really well. Um, so we went ahead and and looked around locally because we do think. Uh, local practice and landing is real important, and um, Kenny Cream Lawson was was our pick for our new fort. <laughs> Absolutely, and I mean, did did uh, any of Kenny Cream Lawson's uh, former placings for Gears of War 2 did that influence you at all? I mean, some people in the community would say he was a bad choice due to just uh, the lack, quote unquote, lack of success he's had in Gears 2. Did that factor into your decision at all? Was that a problem for you guys? No, we really saw. Um, he doing what he needed to be doing on his team, but it, it's coming down to a team game. We know what he it takes. He knows what it takes to win a championship. Right. He's won championships in Gears One. Uh, he's been a pro in Gears One for. He just he's comfortable here, and we knew that that would be a fine pickup. And we could had enough time to mold him uh, into our strategies and the way we play yeah. our game. We wouldn't. We weren't worried about it. And and today we're not worried about it at all. We've been right. able to land. Uh, We've been able to land on the weekends coming into this event um, for the last month and a half and get that practice that we wanted to have. So. Absolutely. And how do you feel uh, Kenny Cream Lawson fills the shoes of Excel, who was uh, just a forest for your team in Columbus? Uh, they're both uh, very good with power weapons. Uh, Kenny fills those positions really well. He was playing most of those spots on his current team, and we saw that watching VODs. And um, he fills it great. And they're both great players. And, you know, Coming down the communication and, and the skill and just it, it works fine, yeah. Absolutely. So, yeah. Both players good. So let's talk a little more about uh, I mean we've been talking about Ross Allen, but how do you feel the other teams coming to this event? Who do you feel is really just the team to look out for or the teams? Right. Um, the matches I'm excited about. Well, the teams I guess definitely Murder by Numbers hasn't really been practiced as much as they should have. I don't think they kind of came down to the wire in the last week and been grinding out games. Uh, the Insanes again. Um, I haven't really seen them playing as much as, as I expected them to be practicing, but, but I'm not worried about those teams as far as their potential. I think they're still going to do really well because they're consistent teams. And um, ZYN has been putting in a lot of work. I, I think they really want to come out here and make some noise because uh, they haven't been able to do that in Columbus. Um, and, and Vision, is, I think, is the talk of, of the community as far as the lower-seated team that wants to come out on top. Of yeah, they've they got a lot of hype around them. Yeah, and they don't have hosts over, if any, of the top 16 teams. Not many. They have, I think they have 12 seed. I'm not sure. But um, it's going to be tough for them, but, but they're really good players. So mm -hmm. they come out on top. But the Vision and Retaliation match I think will be an awesome match to watch if that's going to be streamed. Absolutely. And in round two, match, if yeah. it happens, Infinity and the Insane would be the match to watch there. Definitely. Old matchup. Mm -hmm. And absolutely. And uh, how do you see Raw Talent placing this weekend? How what what's going to win the Dust Players after this weekend? Where is Raw Talent going to stand? Well, I mean, we're not going for anything else but the gold, um, which of course is first place. That would be first place, <laughs> and, and, that's, and that's why we're here, and that's what we're going to do. And we're just going to play the best of our potential. We know that we're capable of doing it. Uh, we're all rested, and we're all you know, we eat that food and, and get those get that water in us right before we play, and we're just all focused. Mm -hmm. We can beat any team that's here. And do you think it's safe to say that your team has, as far as land practice goes, has put in just about more than anybody else possibly with the exception of ZYN? Yeah, I would say so, yeah. ZYN does have the land center where the four of them play, but mm, right. um, besides them, I, I don't know that any other team has the four guys that get together and right. do that every weekend. So. Absolutely. Well, I mean, yeah. thanks a lot for joining us, Rob. Yeah. Uh, Immortal, good luck this thanks, weekend. Man. Look forward to big things for you guys. Thanks, everybody. Take care. All right, going to take another quick commercial break, and we'll be right back with uh, Fallout from Legacy.